Hello, my name is Allison Carmen, and welcome to my podcast, 10 Minutes to Less Suffering. And the name of today's podcast is The Future Ain't What It Used to Be. And as many of you know, that's a Yogi Berra quote. And the great thing about Yogi Berra is that there are so many quotes of his that are really funny. And some of them have a double meaning, and sometimes you don't know exactly what he was getting at. But this is my favorite quote of his. Because so many of us believe that the future ain't what it used to be. But when you step back and you really think about the quote, the future is unknown. And so we're looking out into the future and we're writing a story about what we think is going to happen based on today, based on our fears, based on our stress, based on what scares us. So it goes from a funny statement to maybe something that we're really feeling. And my dad and I have shared so many of these quotes over the years and my work and my book, The Gift of Maybe. So when I was down in Florida last week, I was helping him and my mom move from Florida to an independent living facility in New Jersey. My dad just turned 90 and my mom's 87 and they needed more help from their family and their kids. And it's been a really hard transition. And as I was helping them move, my dad said that to me. He said, hey, Allison, the future ain't what it used to be. And then he looked at me and said, I really feel that way. And of course, I let my dad have his feelings. This is a huge transition for him. But we've always talked about this quote. And I said, Dad, how can you say that? How can you actually believe the future ain't what it used to be? And he said, I'm 90 and I'm moving to probably the last place I'll ever live. And I don't feel like I have a lot to look forward to. Then he said, Perhaps I'm running out of maybes. And it had been such a profound moment for us because we had been on this journey together for so long. And I paused and I waited. And later in the evening, we started to talk again. And I said, Dad, even at 90, nobody knows what's going to happen next. You have no idea what's waiting for you. You don't know the activities you're going to get involved with. You don't know the people you're going to meet. You don't know the things that you're going to do. All we know is what's in this moment and the rest is always open and hope can be for a moment. Hope can be for an hour. Hope can be for a week. Hope doesn't have a time on it and nobody knows how long that we will be on this earth. But all we know is here we are with the hope and possibility that we can still achieve things, experience things, love things, enjoy things, create things. And so, yes, there is maybe at any age, at any time until our last breath. And I looked at my dad and said, do you absolutely know that the future ain't what it used to be? Do you absolutely know that you won't be happy? Do you absolutely know that things can't get better? And he smiled and he looked at me and said, you know, I can't know that. You know, I know I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow. (laughs) And then I looked at him and said, well, what does that mean? And he said, that means I have maybe. But then he said, but this is a tough one. This is a tough maybe. Because I don't know how much longer I have on this earth. And in the kindest, deepest way, I said to him, nobody does. But we do know this moment. So perhaps let's just stay very present. Maybe there's something left for us to experience in this moment. And let's just stay there. Let's stay where we are right now. And let's pack our bags for tomorrow. And let's just stay present and hopeful and thankful and grateful. We don't have to look so far ahead to have a good life. We don't have to plan everything out. We really just have to show up every day with an open heart and a clear mind and let life show us the way. I didn't want to say this to my dad, but there were people that were going to wake up that morning who thought they were young and had their entire lives ahead of them, but it was their last day on this earth. And I don't say this to make you sad or make you scared. I say this because we're all telling stories about time and life and futures and problems and stress when in truth there is this moment and the more we stay present and the more we live it and the more we open to it, the more we gain in this lifetime, the more we learn and the greater chance we have to experiencing beautiful possibilities in the next moment and the moment after that. We have to be so careful in life. It is so easy to look at change and get negative. 
It's so easy to look at our age and the circumstances and our event and take that negativity and look into the future and say the future ain't what it used to be, but that's not true. As life changes, new opportunities are possible. As life changes, possibilities arise, but we need to show up in a place that we remain open. We need to make sure that as life changes, we do not swim in the other direction. We need to watch our resistance. We need to practice our acceptance, even though it might be uncomfortable and even though it might be painful, because the truth is we don't know what's going to happen next. And instead of trying to protect ourselves from pain or bringing the fear forward, we could see that within the unknown, good things can happen too. And that's the thing we forget. And I would never think to myself, the future ain't what it used to be. I think to myself, the future is an open playing field that I am so lucky to be on. And I want the same for you. And I want the same for my dad and my mom. And as I sat there with my dad, I felt tremendous kindness and love between us both. And that is really the greatest, maybe of all, that we could share that with other people. That we could love so deep and feel our hearts and feel loved and supported and seen. I think of all the things I've done in my life. Being present for my parents while they moved was probably one of the deepest, most profound things I've ever done. And I didn't know it was going to happen. I didn't see that future coming. I was planning my podcasts and planning my books and planning my life. That you can't plan for the meaning. And you can't plan for the moment that's going to open your heart. You can't even know when your most joyous day will be. And that's why we can't say the future ain't what it used to be because we have no idea. And that gives me such hope because I don't want to know. I don't want to take this moment and throw it into the future. I want to take this moment and I want to feel it and I want to love it and I want to be in it. And I want the same for you. I want you to feel that passion and that depth of what it means to be alive. And I want you to take that and feel the grace and the gratitude and the love for whoever is with you in the moment, or if you're just with yourself for you. And then I want you to take your passions and your love and create the things you want in your life and allow that to flow so naturally into the future. Then something beautiful will be created, something you can't even imagine. Let love always be on the horizon. Let your dreams always live close to your heart. Let the people you love know how much they're loved. And let the kindness in your heart spread as far as possible every day. Yes, the future ain't what it used to be. The future is so much more than that. It is so much more than that. It is the place where everything we plant in this moment grows and spreads and creates a beautiful new future for all of us. And just like my parents, none of us know what's going to happen next. But that should give us hope. And that should make us feel strong. And that should make us feel that there's so much more to create in this lifetime. Uncertainty is your best friend. Because if you want your life to change, it has to happen in the unknown. And this moment is your best friend because this is where you get to feel and appreciate and love and don't let your fears of tomorrow steal this moment because as you gain your strength and as you gain your resilience you are setting the stage for something new and when change comes your way for all you know maybe the best is yet to come Thank you for listening to this podcast today. If you'd like to get in touch with me, you could email me at allison at allisoncarmen.com. If you'd like to buy my books, The Gift of Maybe or Year Without Men, they're available at all major bookstores and online retailers. And if you like this podcast, you could subscribe and leave a comment.